Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lights here, we're back again with another video, I want to start with Baidao, okay, I'm just going to have a look at the chart and see exactly what's going on here, alright, just from my perspective, alright, we know that the token ban is going to be in about three weeks now, okay, and a lot of people are looking forward to that, we haven't seen any more news in terms of partnerships this week, that would have been nice to see, um, to, you know, help kind of, you know, give some hope in this downtrend okay but uh, you know we'll have to wait and see if there's anything to come next week potentially or and you know that being said the week is not over yet guys so maybe i spoke too soon but um yeah would, would be nice to get some news on buy out but also nice to be getting some updates in regards to um other things as well like uh, the roadmap and stuff like that i don't believe there's a roadmap at the moment hopefully that will come you know later but as for now, we just have to go by the chart and the only other thing is the token burn and the exchanges. We haven't had any announcement of any new exchanges since coins bit. All right. But I mean, maybe they're going to release those weekly or bi-weekly. Um, you know, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. But looking at the chart at the moment, um, if I was to draw a pattern on here, what I'd be looking at is something like this. Now, a lot of this stuff I can see without drawing lines, all right? I'm going to draw lines for you. Because when I see something like this, my mind starts working. All right, if we go from there, let's have a look at what we can get. Now, I'm using the... I'm not. I'm taking out some of the wicks here because at the end of the day, uh, we want to see the price action from the candle bodies, all right? So, that looks like it could potentially be a big triangle. You know I love my triangles, right? Um, so that's what I'm looking at there potentially but it does look kind of slim okay um, but if you was to get a break out there that could be a good thing for buy down uh, but the further this goes down the worse it's going to be in terms of um, you know potential for it to break price discovery anytime soon so let's lower the time frame and have a look Now what I can also see is, let's just move that, let's just move that like that, let's bring it to the top of the week to see if we can find a new pattern, okay, do that like that and you can see it will be a long falling wedge, so if it does break out of that, the target could be, could get us out of this, uh, you know, let's have a look, if we went from the bottom that would take us into a new high, if we went from the top of the breakout pattern, that will take it all the way up to about six cents all right these are realistic targets guys we're not looking at 60 cents at the moment looking at six cents okay um also what i can see in the short term is if it can't break out this level obviously this gives us a target for potentially coming down okay so if i draw the lines like that you'll be able to see that i'm looking at what would be a bearish pattern Okay, we'll go from the top of that and we'll just use that wick there okay so that would be a rising wedge so that could break down if it falls out of that then it could come down and uh, start making its way down further but the ultimate target what i was saying before was at about 1.8 cents so if i just mark that out for you we're looking at roughly this level potentially okay if it does break that level and fall below there then i don't think it's going to be uh, great for the wide out chart okay and this is just for the sake of people who keep asking me what i'm thinking all right um i don't know what's going to happen okay i can only do uh, an analysis based on probability okay so i'm looking at all the different scenarios potentially and there are more that i can see here. if we just look at one more we can say that it got a break out of this level okay obviously we had the triangle up there when it broke down all right guys we can also see if it was potentially forming a triangle before it's actually fallen through that now okay so it's fallen through that as a potential triangle and now like we see we've got that bearish pattern is coming up 
and it's resisting this line right now so that could fall even further down and that will bring us directly to our target potentially let's just get one more line draw that from there okay draw that from there we'll bring that over here okay if we bring it up to the top okay not quite okay but it does kind of bring us down into that zone for uh my target over there so that's just how i'm looking at it you know so not everyone agrees with the way i do ta you know my way is my way your way is your way but my way seems to work for me just fine so i don't always get it right but it is what it is guys you make a decision based on your own research and your own analysis i'm just sharing mine with you here on the channel do what you want to do with the information now another one that i'm looking at also is core okay and core looks like it's got a breakout of the triangle for me we're on the higher time frame at the moment on the fourth hour okay if you don't know what core is it's c vault finance or doc finance okay and uh, i believe that this one has massive potential okay not as many people talking about it as there should be in my opinion um just the same as not a lot of people were talking about yearn finance until yearn finance started hitting 15 20k 30k 40k you know then you start seeing more people talking about it okay I would like to see the same kind of thing with this, okay, especially with the hype dying down on Yen Finance. Now, a lot of people are thinking that it's a little bit bearish. Some people think that it's not over for Yen Finance yet, but um, yeah, people are stepping down from the project and stuff like that. Um, there was the hack on the previous, on, on the new project. Um, can't remember what, Eminence, I think it was called, uh, ENC um, by Andre Cronje, if, if that's how you pronounce his name. That's the CEO of Yen Finance. So that one actually... Um, yeah, that one got hacked and that one dumped and, you know, a lot of people m might have lost, you know, confidence in him now, potentially. But, you know, I, I don't think it's, uh, you know, th this is crypto, you know, crazy things happen and people can bounce back from even worse than that. But if we look at core, um, uh, core C Vault Finance, OK, I can see it coming through um, this, this triangle now, getting a breakout. OK, it's not got the volume. OK, we've got decreasing volume, which is a good thing so it will be good to see a spike in volume come out of that green all right guys but we do have consistent volume on this as well um but yeah if we hire the time frame it does look a lot better and yeah i'm expecting a uh, a move soon for this you can see that it's been holding this support level over here we've got one two three it's been using that as a clear support level at the moment we just lower that back so you can see a little bit more clear you can see it's bounced off there it came down it bounced it tried to fall through came back above and bounced and then broke out of the triangle all right guys so that's looking good for core so yeah that's really all i've got for you today i'm not feeling very well went very well yesterday um hence why i didn't put a video out yesterday all right guys i'm actually trying to keep myself cool calm and collected because i'm about to go on a holiday soon um in just a couple of days actually going on a holiday to greece with the wife celebrate our seven year anniversary all right guys so um yeah that's all i've got for you for now all right guys if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel like comment down below get over onto twitter and follow me over there also all right guys and i'll see you in the next video if you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself we have a new clothing brand called parabolic this is a brand dedicated to the crypto space i use the name parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts now there's a range of products you can choose from from hoodies vests socks even face masks during this pandemic time and we're using the lightsaber to represent the youtube channel okay there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out got a range of different colors range of different products all right and what i'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something if you send me a message what i'll do is i'll send you a free invite for the new telegram group which will be a paid telegram group okay after that okay so the first 100 people you will get a invite sent to you for free all right even if you buy something as small as a mug you will get that just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember the trend is your friend